what is going on youtube savage here in today's video we're going to be spectating a duo gameplay where two players met each other using our discord community but before we get into the video if you haven't already make sure you subscribe to the channel join the wolf pack today also the goal for this video is 2000 likes so help us get to that goal but without further ado let's go ahead and dive into the gameplay all right here we have saucy and milk landing in the bunker and of course i mean especially with it being new and having a ton of money you're gonna go ahead and spec for two other players to get in there sorry i had the volume down all right but mill going ahead with a kill yeah, he's being shot, shot at by his teammate and we just nice easy easy fight all right, but these two players, like I said in the intro, yeah, met yeah, using yeah. our Discord right. community. Guys, nice, nice I made goals. a Discord for players all around Call of Duty. I want you guys to go ahead, find teammates, not just to get wins with, but hopefully make friends with and start playing games with other people I, outside I, of I yourself. Because if you're anything like I am, I hate playing games alone. It's more of a social vibe for me. Nah, but in fact, it was zombies, I think. It's like, that's, that's the rumor. This there one? is not a bunch of loot here. Yeah, what the heck? I figured it'd be the same as the other one. All right, so we ended up leaving the bunker. Uh, Unfortunately, uh, there wasn't well. for money. Right over it. That bunker is not like the others. I, I right, so here we are going to military me. base now. Again, money is uh, money yeah. is hurting, so we need to go ahead and loot. Unfortunately, there's no scavengers around sure, us. They're in, they're in no that would here. definitely save our ass. And now we have a level two bounty on us as well. And because we have a bounty on us, we want to kind of get better oh, cover than where we're at right now. The last thing we do is freeze up in a building like this because of the position that we're in. Basically, we're surrounded, so if they come up any direction, we're not going to have eyes on most of it. And not to mention, if they come at us from two different ways, we're really going to be screwed putting ourselves into a building like this. Down right there. Even if they're level you three, you still oh, want to kind of scan around you and don't allow them to cross into the open. Crack, crack. I'm pushing in there. Love the dead silent, silent push. Oh, I got right here. Shit. All right, good shit, brother. Dead sounds flank. I you killed him. Johnny Sins. He has plates in there. The hell? Yeah. But I did hear someone else shooting. There's the plate box. Sound like did it you was. Drop the plate box? Oh, someone's in here. Someone's underneath me. Underneath me. Good observation me. for sure. I don't think he's underneath though. It sounds like he's right? on the left side the... or the right side. On the other side. Of the... Oh shit. Oh, shit. Pretty sure there's another enemy. I mean, it definitely is because I wasn't a team wipe, but uh, just the one guy. No, I swear hey, there's yeah. another target. Maybe I'm drunk. Who knows? I heard him drop a plate box or something. So he's gonna have plate. I thought I saw another target. I thought I saw a whole other skin, but apparently I didn't. I need plates. But as boy. far as that enemy team, like, uh, only... where was his boy? Where was his boy for that man? I, I don't understand why he would push the unknown by himself again if you feel competent and you have the skill by all means just keep doing you you know who you are but that guy clearly didn't have a grip on the situation like he may have thought he had only two unfortunately i'm gonna see if maybe he dropped any maybe he dropped some for his teammate there's two dead bodies right here and a plate yeah dead plate box where's that where's that at where's that at directly outside i, I just shot it well, we need 1100 more dollars to get our loadout drop and i would definitely do that Especially people coming back from the gulag after all those deaths, they may come back for a vengeance kill. Glass break. Yeah, that was me. I broke the glass. So go like through these the, buildings have been looted. Yeah, right go here. through. There you go. Yeah, yeah. He knows what to do. Go through those buildings there. together. Okay, make sure you don't really separate because you, you killed two players that yeah, were both not team out. wipes. So I would assume there's probably two enemies oh, nearby. And if you're looting by yourself and you go into a building and guy sit in a corner, which you probably will be. Weird. Weird. He's coming back. Who would have thought? Enemy dropping in. You don't want to go in by yourself and die. If you go in with your teammate and clear the one builds together, ahead, on the vehicle. at least if one of you goes down, the other one can clean it up. There's two guys. Look at this. They came back. Boom. Merry Christmas. One down. Everyone's in the safe zone. Helicopter. It's a helicopter. Trying to splat you, brother. Oh, no, he's getting. Ground floor hanger. I don't know what he's doing. Oh, Take advantage of them. They're fighting each other. Get these kills. Steal them all. Don't let the enemy get shot. He's going for the execute, but he can't get it. Oh, no! No! Dude, his teammate's inside one shot. Oh. His teammate's inside one shot. He's one shot. He's one shot. Oh, no, no, they're, they're camping. Damn. Watch out. Just back up. Just back up. So as far as that fight's concerned, the dude's teammate came up from the left-hand side. I should have predicted that, but I didn't. 
I saw 1v1 fight. I wanted a third party. I probably would have been put in the same position. Hopefully I could have outplayed the situation, but unfortunately we were not able to do that in the situation and we ended up going down. We probably should have played a little bit more passive or waited for our teammates to come in with us. Um, but again, it's all good in hindsight. I think I would have done the exact same thing that our, that our boy did here. Maybe just camp my loot and wait until they try and rush and get the one kill. That's the play, that's the play. Just camp my loot and kill the guy that goes to loot it. And then once he's down, his team is going to try and rush. And just be calm. Nope. Yeah, let's get a load out. Once you drop, drop me your money. Okay. You have enough? Damn. All right, just like the savage that we are, we went to the gulag and now oh, we're coming back know, down crazy. to get our load out. We have ninety, we have ten thousand dollars uh, exactly. Wow, the odds. Exactly. Can you drop one plate? Or do you have any? I have no extra, bro. Fair enough. All good. All right, we're rocking some some builds we don't RPG? see that... normally. I like to see different gunplay for sure. Uh, I, Metas I are too know. strong in this that game. People use the same weapons, so it's nice to see somebody someone? change it up a little bit. I'm be honest. Oh, there's money on my body here too. I'm probably plates. Yeah, yeah, I'm paying, I'm paying it somebody. 48 meters. Damn. All right. Yep. 38. Good comms again. Way better playing with people who actually talk than playing with randoms right that don't use a microphone, right? right? He might have a teammate. You never know. We can't even vault up this. This is crazy. It's not his fault. It's just it's just yeah. vision. I mean, oh, I'm sorry, meters. Activision. Wait, what? Over there, yeah, same direction. Same direction. It looks like he's oh, playing the corner of the wall. 46, he's on the, in the hill, in the hill. He might be making a run for it, actually. 20, it looks like he might buy, be. On the buy? Oh, nope, there he is. Look at that, little gopher. He's popping right his head up. The corner. You need a plate up. Oh, uh, one shot, one shot, one shot, one shot. Ooh. Hey, my Claymore got it. <laughs> I put a claymore there a long time ago. Oh. Shit. <laughs> I'm about claymore. to get a UIV. Alright. I'm gonna drop money too. Actually, I'm and just go. notice, like, even though they weren't together together, they were close enough together to where and if one yeah, teammate yeah. went down, it would have been tough for the enemy to get the execution. Like Granted, clear, the enemy could have executed him, now. but Let's the go. enemy was trying to outplay the situation. So I will give props to him for one not just going for the execution, I'm trying to outplay the, the situation. But unfortunately for the enemy, it didn't really work out in his favor kind of left the, the the cover of the crates okay. and oh, yeah, ego challenged the shit out of us going back to his loot he's back up yeah yeah he's right there look at that in. look at the long parachute float oh. if we would have had a good angle on him like if we would have just been in the right place right time it would have been an easy kill poor guy he's trying to have fun yep he's just trying to have fun So as far as the enemy is concerned in that fight, basically, when you're in an outnumbered situation, the last thing you want to do, and I say it all the time, is go in a building and hold an angle. Because most buildings have multiple ways in and out, right? There was two doors in that building and a window. He basically put his back to the open window and allowed us to shoot him in the back. But be aware, if you guys are that type of person to kind of follow enemies and chase them like a hound dog, you got to be very careful because most of the time, they will run in buildings and do just that. If we would have gone in through the door and nobody would have been there to shoot him in the back, he could have had a good drop on us and got the kill. So you got to be very careful chasing enemies like that. I love the fact that we chased him, but we still kept our distance. That way we could read what he may do. We were able to catch him up in the open. I love it. I want to unlock that new SMG now. That thing sounds disgusting. It sounds so good. Oh. Yeah, that's what I got all my kills with so far. It's a 55 round mag, right? Uh, you have to unlock it. I got a 45 in it right now. That's still solid though. But yeah, it has a fast fire rate. Some of these guns not having bigger is magazines is mind blowing to me. No? Not mind blowing. If my MP5 can have a drum on it, let me have a drum on everything, please. People will see four these days, you never know. And Orange Chester too? UAV money or no? 
Yeah, you have your money. Let's go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. More, more chests in here too. There's one orange chest, so odds are there's gonna be another one. I don't know if you guys can hear the comms, but he basically said, let's grab the Big Bertha. That way we don't have to risk dying to C4. Big Bertha takes way more than C4 to destroy. Find a precision in the chest, nice. The only downside is Big Bertha's slower, but again, he'd rather be safer than faster. Where's the bot? We can get a two of these. Also, nice. guys, whether you're playing with randoms or whether oh, you're playing with people from Discord, make sure you're talking if you have a microphone. Don't be shy. It's a video game. They're never going to see you, right? Just communicate, vibe out, make some friends. I'm an introvert. If Introverter can, people, extroverted people. There's no reason not to communicate, especially in the gaming world, oh, man. You never know. You can make you can meet some great people online. No one used it yet? You can meet some great people online, man. I've, I've met a lot of lifelong friends from online gaming. This is a precision here. Actually, I don't, I don't know what the play is because I, I have UAV in my pocket. Maybe we pop one and then someone pockets one and then. Yeah, I pocket pop one. one, pocket yeah, it, and pick right, up the yeah, precision. The precision. Yeah. yeah, yeah, for sure. I probably should have for the jailbreak, but whatever. That's nah, fine. It's fine because you never know. You might you might Wait, pick up an enemy near you. Is already gone. Oh, there we go. All right, any anyone? The chance of people coming over to military from the jailbreak is slim because on the edge of the circle, but I do like that we're just trying to play it safe in case it happens. It might. There's one ping. There's two. Hey. Two guys over there. Worked out. Hey! It's Christmas time! And they're all going to be jailbreaks with jailbreakers, I think, because they're on UAV. Yeah, they should, I mean, they should be. They could come back with the gulag, but doubtful all of them are. They're, they're, they're gonna be right here, right? They're gonna be real close. Well, the problem with this is, and you want your what? teammate to call in the UAV, is the problem well, with it is they're flung. so high up, they could be long floating, making a decision. So basically, you can hold your parachute for a very long time up in the air, and that's why we came to this area, and UAV shows nobody close by. The closest person's here. So that's, that explains that situation there. So before you start hawking down where players are at, make sure they're getting lower to the ground. Keep your eyes in the sky, because if you don't see anybody drop down, they're probably floating way the hell off. Dang. And again, flying. talking about the edge of the circle, that's why I went ahead and yeah. said that. Because again, I mean, if they do land military base, they're going to have to rotate out almost instantly. Yeah, I got that bounty. Fuck, there's no more bounties, bro. All right, but new new contract spawn in uh, 40 seconds. When, or when the zone closes, new contract spawn. You didn't know that, guys. You do now, brothers. I'm just doing so we don't, we're not in the same vehicle. I mean, we can split up a little bit. Not split up, but... Not all our eggs in one basket type thing. But I love the comms from the people. You know, a lot of people team up together and, and, and it's just like, oh, oh enemy here, enemy here, help me. Let's buy armor. But they're coming up with actual strategies. We're actually communicating with our teammates saying, well, I'm gonna do this and this is why. This is what we're gonna do if this happens. So I love to see the pre-planning. I love to see the discussions. Um, this is really how you want your team to vibe out, honestly. Is this uh... You want your comms to be on point and you want radio yeah, yeah. traffic to be at a minimum in the middle of combat. But in open times like this, start coming up with the plans together. That way you guys can make the best plan. Two heads are better than one, especially in gaming. Hey, free UAV, let's go. Actually, you, you carry it. I'll carry the precision. All right. Mill base, that's, yeah, let's go there. Now I probably would have grabbed the UAV. I and mean, this isn't this isn't anything that important, but just, just making a, uh, just interjecting a statement, I probably would have carried the UAV in this vehicle that way if we need it. Like if we get into an area that's pretty hot and we want to have a UAV in the air, we can switch we seats real quick, pop it, and go back to the driver's seat. The other guy is going to have to actually I get out the vehicle you in order to pop his UAV. Yeah, as long as one of those does. And there we have the boundary setting, trying to make our way in before the circle starts collapsing. And there may be players here. People may have rotated from core in this direction. I don't see why they would. I don't think there's gonna be anybody here, but still always be on alert and always be ready. Oh yeah, he's, he's running from the gas. He's gonna get him. All right. That's a nice yeah. bounty right there. No vehicles there. Now let's talk about the enemy's go. position. Let's talk about what's wrong with this picture. Again, if you're in a spot that's in a bad spot for the next zone and the circle's about to close in, you need to rotate. I don't know how long he's been sitting here for, but I, it's too long. He should already be in zone. This is not a good area. If you're out in the open, you want to get safety the moment the circle tells you where to go, right? So the moment the new circle popped up right here, you know, a couple minutes ago, he should have already started rotating in. There's no reason for him to sit there. So now that he has the bounty on him, it's unfortunate timing and he may never have had the bounty on him. But now that he does, Easy gatekeep right here, bros. Yeah. Easy gatekeep. No hey, look, Harry Potter's car. Got it again. 
This might be a GG's for this guy. That's 100% GG's for this dude. Unless you'll end up shooting the ground or some shit. Never know. Not doubting you. All right, so here we are gatekeeping the enemy. Pretty self-explanatory. All right, Saucy, got a recommendation. You may have already made it, but I want to go ahead and throw it out there just in case and maybe lower it a little bit. ADS sensitivity, a little high. And you can tell by the way you're tracking the target, how jerky it is, right? Again, you want smooth transitions. You don't want to have to go all over the place to track an enemy, especially at this range. There's no reason to. So if we rewind a little bit, Leave that there. Go to low mo. So if we watch how he makes adjustments, and again, I'm not trying to be an asshole, but this is a perfect example on ADS sensitivity and how important it is. So everyone out here that watches these videos that hasn't happened to hear me talk about this, this is crucial. This is one of the most important things to adjust that will instantly increase your gameplay. I'm not even kidding. All right, so we see the enemy come up and I always recommend to put your reticle on the enemy before you ADS, that way you could be more precise. We see the enemy, we're trying to control a little bit of recoil, understandable, but notice how we go down into the left and then hard over to the right. I don't think your ADS sensitivity is that far off, but I definitely would make a, a minor adjustment. Don't just crank it all the way down, just a tweak. Just literally a tweak, make it a little bit smoother of a transition because the moment that you realize your gun was going down to the left, you should have been able to adjust it right back to its target. But unfortunately, we're a little too far lower into the right and it just made it a lot harder on you. Again, not the worst ADS sensitivity you've ever seen, it was just a recommendation. Poor guy. Saucy, well so, so you're just a nice guy, brother. He kills him, he's like, poor guy. I'm killing him, like, get wrecked. <laughs> you're such a nice dude, Saucy. I love it. I love it, man. <laughs> you're running right in the open. Oh, man, the Amex feels so nice. Amex is I nice. I love the Amex. It's probably my favorite rifle in the game right now. The Amex is probably my favorite rifle in the game. Uh, no 100%. Yeah, let's go there. Uh, it's out in the open, though. Kilo's nice, but lately I feel like I'm shooting marshmallows at a campfire. It's just not. It feels like the M13, to be honest. And if I'm going to play the M13, I think I'd rather play with the M13 because it's way more of a laser. Or do we? I can't tell. Again, I'm loving the comms. I truly am loving the comms. I'm getting grenaded. They just Kobe that shit from buy station? No shot. Yeah, there he is behind the rock. In the open, in the open. I love how you guys, I love how he crouches behind the tree. Like they don't see me. They Who's don't see me. Now, I'm sorry, behind the rock. <laughs> wow. Who's looking stupid now, buddy? Trying to throw a frag in my, my car? <laughs> there we go, baby. Let the toxicity flow. Oh, I love that, dude. So we basically have both angles on the fence line. This guy's GG, unless he somehow hits all of his shots in the world. Oh, he gets the Bertha, no chance. Good thermite, hit him with one more, baby. Mess him up. Shoot if you can. Do it, do it, do it, do it. Oh, don't do it. You'll, don't, don't jump out. You'll die. I can't. He's gonna hit you. He's gonna hit you. Watch out. Turn right that bitch. Crosshair jumped up a little bit, but looked like you were able to correct it pretty well. Oh, jump back in. Good. Good timing. Hey! <laughs> Big boy. Just got messed up. Good shit, brother. Good shit, dude. Here we are rocking nine Murder kills. You still have a pretty decent sized oh game God. left. Now. Because of the circle's rotation, it's going to favor the north side of the airfield. You can go and fight people in the airport. I'm not against that, but it will be a dangerous fight. Even if you kill everybody over there, pushing across the airfield again, you're really tempting fate. God. The chance of someone gatekeeping you is extremely well. How many plates, dude? How many plates? Right there, right there. Going out the hall. Right there. Right here. Where? Right here. Okay, there's the ping. I don't see where. This is a perfect example I'm talking about with, with comms. Right there, right there is habit for people. It's not a bad thing. Well, well, it is, but it's understandable because that's what we say in real life, right? So right there, right there. We pinged it, so good to ping, but, but it's not a precise ping or a precise comm. Ping it, call out the direction and call out the object they're near or inside of. For example, drop the ping and, and say he's inside this building. Right here, right here. Uh, unfortunately he jumped out we don't even realize our team oh, our teammate has left the vehicle no and Bro, unfortunately he went in by himself no way he just got into the ffar1 
Back. What a fast back. gulag. I love that. Now, this is dangerous. I mean, I need to talk about this. I'll just let it go. But this is dangerous. We've got to remember, we have airfield to our right-hand side. We have everything else to our left that's safe. And we still need to get positioning, right? You definitely want to keep eyes on this area and provide cover to your teammate if he needs it. But laying prone in the open like this, you, you are the easiest headshot if anybody's in this hangar. He's got a great line of sight of you. Anybody's up here, great line of sight on you. You're not safe in this area. I understand the vehicle's to your back. You're a little bit safer, but... Again, you're still vulnerable if they should be able to shoot under the vehicle. There's some money on top. We're aiming here. I'm just prone behind the vehicle. I'm just aiming at him. Very dangerous. Now, you once your teammate kid? gets close, no, go up and he push with him. He's, in, he's still in there. He's still in there. Down. I don't know Down what here. that dude was doing. Nice. <laughs> I love the nice. fact that we pinged the enemy. Right, the that yeah, helped us pre-fire the enemy peeking the uh, doorway. And it also, well, it was a live ping for our teammate to see oh. as well. I have no idea why the enemy All did right. that. Get, I saw the glare and we had a sniper, quicker. but eh. Just get, ready. Get, get, the, get the access. This is dangerous. This is a dangerous buy station to go to, especially right now. All right, maybe, do you want to buy something? You? Yeah, buy self? Buy self, buy self. Quick. <laughs> good comms, good way nice. to take charge so, and, and, and let your teammate know what he yeah, needed no, to no, get. Here. Too many times I, I see players next to buy stations and then one of them buys something, the other one's sitting on $10,000 or $6,000 and he just leaves. Right if you guys need go. something, there's no reason yeah, you should yeah, ever leave a buy yeah, right. station empty handed. He's, he's, he's pushing right here, right. in the open, right here. In the open, right, right there, right there. Oh, he's, he's lasering, he's lasering. Oh, oh, sh two, it's two, it's two. Shit, bro. I did not mean to hop out. Great recoil control Play. with the Amax. And no, oh, we get sniped for that explosion, do all that damage to us. I'm gonna go ahead and say explosion because we're not dying yet. One more down. One more yeah. down. Oh, you need some, you need some munitions. I throw that shit down right now, bro. Oh my God. Good shit, good shit, good shit. I throw that munitions down right now. If for some reason someone starts shooting at you from the house right in front of us right now, they start shooting you from here. And you try to spray at them with this gun, it's gonna be a little bit inaccurate. I want my main weapon, my long range and mid range window, weapon for sure. Window, there, for example, here? for example, right there. Do you have any yep. air ammo? Actually, hold on, I need munitions buffer. There you go. Oh, hey, never mind. Spoke too soon. Yeah, I need that. There you go, boys. Let's go. God, clutch. Looks like he went. Looks like he went inside this building right here. Two vehicles pulling towards us. They got out. They're swapping vehicles, or is there in that? What are they doing? <laughs> they just got out here. They just got out. There's our ride. And I think someone's camping inside this building that we're, we're in front of. Enemy dropping into the AR. Yeah, enemy dropping in. I think there's a guy camping in here, right? Heartbeat. Oh, you're up top. Okay, we're good. Did, did you just drive up here to camp? All right, there is a vehicle here if we need to switch. I said we go left. Yeah, so whenever you're in this position left, right now, where the circle's favoring dam or the mountain or something like that, you always want to go left. Never go right. Always go left, go in through the tunnel or go above the tunnel. I prefer above the tunnel if you're able to make that jump. But definitely go up to the left. You don't want to go down that little complex as that because you're not going to be able to rotate to the next circle. You, was that? You see someone? Test uh, I thought you were someone. We need to do it quickly though. Grab the vehicle and make it. Th yeah, there? oh, shit. there's a guy right there. Look at that. Don't shoot at them because they're going to have the high ground. If they know you're back here, they're going to make it very hard for us to get that position too. So in this situation, I would have stayed a little bit more stealthy, um, got to the vehicle, and then rotated inwards. It's going to be very hard for us to get those knocks. And even if we do at this range, okay. the chance of executing nice. him before his teammates are able shoot to shoot us in the open is going to be very slim to none. So there's, yeah. there's a couple teams, three, two vehicles there, yeah. And even though we're not taking the vehicle, even though we're pushing the hill again, again, very dangerous to start that fight because they're going to have a lot more cover. They're going to be in the next zone. They can get, keep us from getting to that good position. Vehicle behind us. Just got to watch out. Get a tree if you need to. No, they're going around. They're going around. Two guys. Two guys. Two? All right. Troops in contact. Cracked it. Cracked one. They're getting sniped. Helicopters or vehicle from behind us. Good, good break, bro. Good hey, knock and kill. Oh. Good Oh, you're, oh, mad. you're mad. You're mad. Good cry to your mama. Don't challenge him. Don't challenge a sniper lane prone with a rifle. Don't do it. We got to get this vehicle and we got to get to the tunnel. Again, positioning is key. I know there's a lot of people around us. But jump in this vehicle and hightail the hell out of here. It's in zone. That counts. Vehicle right there. Someone in there or is it glitched? 
It's glitched. They're right here though. I'm on this loadout right here. Last ping right there. The positioning is scary. Watch out for the mountain, Betty. Positioning is scary. Oh, what? You guys are camping in here. The reason sure. I knew that is because it's pinged on the mini map somehow. Watch out. I think it's a glitch. There's one on top of the ammunition. Um, but the reason why this position scares the sh** out of me is because the team that's on the higher ground theoretically should win as long as they're paying enough attention. Us rotating up to the higher ground is going to be extremely difficult. Well, I really, I'm gonna be honest, I don't see us winning this game. Oh, yeah, on, the, on, the, on the shack, on the shack right here. Even if we kill everyone down here, I mean, it's gonna be very oh, hard for us to rotate up the hill oh, where the next zone's shot. at um, without them shooting down on us. We won't be able to go through the tunnel and rotate around that direction. We won't be able to climb up on top of the tunnel yeah, yeah, yeah. on this direction. So I really don't understand how we're going to win this game. The only chance yeah, we have is if we're able to kill everyone down here and this yeah, right next there. circle favor yeah, us somehow. All right, let's just easy kills, easy kills. Wait for it. There's two more right here. Down one. Heard, heard, heard. All right, good. Two of them, two mott, two mott. Let's go, let's go. Push up. Wait, watch, our, watch our ridge here. Jeff plates? Oh, no, you don't. Nope. This is cut. Good though. We're this good. is this is gonna be rough. This is gonna be extremely rough. This is, this is it. This is how we die. Good. We're good. We're good. We're two good. plays between the two of us. Now, okay, I was about to say now. Down, the only the only chance we have is if the enemies aren't paying attention, but they are. So let's see here. what happens. I got self. I got self. Good suppressive fire while your teammates selfing. Make sure you're keeping your eye on that area. That way you can ping pop the res. All right, the enemy team's shooting at them as well. So you want to try to take advantage of the third party but I'm make not, sure not, you don't just run in the yeah, open until you're sure they're distracted no, now it looks like it looks like they're distracted now no, they got to move anyway so we need to start going ahead and taking advantage of this always fight away, bro. push to the tunnel always away someone's gonna push back to us the What's third the party literally like, put us in a great in position should yeah, that not have boy. happened it would have been very hard for us to get to the next zone yeah, they're in there i hear them now the dangerous thing is we're lacking ammunition and our teammate cannot go down uh, right now what's with the bounce of betty's and now we're in a position right here where I just don't see us solidifying this W. We can still, we're close range. We have a close range weapon. We can get a 1v2 going on. No way, there's two. Play the gas, play the glass. Oh my bad, God. bro, my bad. I didn't see that bouncing. Look at the bouncing baddies, bro. This is that team that put them inside the police station. Good gas mask, there we go. You're gonna wanna try to get some shots off for sure. He knew you were there. He should have been looking your area. Go ahead and finish the self res. No way is it gonna happen. No way. No way do you pull this off, fam. If you would have pulled it off, that would have been the greatest recovery I've ever seen. Good game, bro. Good game. Good game. All right, but GG, Saucy, Milk, thank you guys for the gameplay. Even though y'all didn't solidify the W, you still got a 24 kill game. And I'm assuming it was y'all's first time playing together. So the fact that y'all were able to vibe that well off of one of your first games is pretty good to me. But one thing I like to highlight about this gameplay, and I've been saying it in video after video after video, is when you're in a bad spot and the zone does not favor you, you really need to focus on positioning. When they got in that vehicle by police station, I instantly just hightailed it and tried to get the tunnel, try to get to the top of the mountain. But unfortunately, they diverted and, and wanted to get those kills and it put them in a bad spot. But Wolf Pack, I really hope you enjoyed the video. Again, if you did and you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe to the channel right now and also help us get to the goal of 2,000 likes. But until next time, you have a good one and good looking Warzone.